Welcome to the Allspace VR, Commsverse, and Oculus Quick Start tutorial. There's lots of different ways you can experience Allspace VR. Um, if you're not familiar with what it is, it's basically a virtual space where people can meet, um, can, can converse with each other, can see presentations, basically experience um, sort of face-to-face -face interactions in a virtual space. The three ways that we're going to talk about here today, first is through a browser, second through is the, the Windows Store app, and third through the various different Oculus products. Now, Oculus has a, a number of different products out. We're going to talk mainly about the Rift and the Quest. The Rift is the, the full PC connected virtual reality headset. So basically it uses a, a gaming PC and a high-end graphics card connected through a tether to the headset. And basically the graphics of the virtual world that you're in are rendered on the PC and they're visible in the headset. Quest is a little different. It's an all-in-one headset. Um, so it basically has a, a souped up smartphone inside of it and it's a, it's a self-contained wireless device. So you don't need a PC, you don't have any tether back to it. Um, in fact, it doesn't even use external cameras to detect where it is. It uses cameras inside the Quest to position it. So it's pretty cool that way. Um, and that's kind of the second option. The third that we're not gonna talk too much about is the Oculus Go. It's now officially discontinued from, from uh, Oculus or from Facebook, uh, but it's sort of a, a lighter weight version of the Quest. So there's a couple different ways that you can experience virtual reality reality as part of Commsverse. The, the first is actually a, a session that myself, Peter Carson, and my co-presenter Rob Buren have been presenting in a virtual presentation space itself. So it's actually a, a session on VRX therapy. It's a project that we're working on, Rob and I, around leveraging virtual reality to reduce and eliminate pain. It's really to deal with uh, phantom pain, um, amputee pain, basically retraining the mind to understand pain signals that aren't actually there. And that's going to be on Tuesday, July 7th at 7 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. We're going to present it in Altspace VR in a virtual theater style. So what that means is Rob and I will have avatars up at the front of the stage that you can see down below. And basically you can come in and pick a seat that you like in there and actually experience it as if you're in a, in a real theater. You can raise your hands. You can ask questions, have a back and forth conversation. So it should be a fairly interactive session. There's actually a chance to win an Oculus Quest as part of participating in that session as well. The other way is to actually come into the Comms First Expo floor. Uh, this is a screenshot of, of what it looks like in virtual reality. It's 2D, so you don't have the same immersive experience, but it actually really feels like an expo floor. We've got the you know light and dark carpeting. We've got the booth set up for the vendors and such. It's empty right now. Nobody's in it. But the idea is you can you can literally have big crowds of people in here. And as you get close to other people that are talking, you can hear the conversation, you can join into the conversation. So that ability to sort of strike up random conversations, either with exhibitors, with fellow attendees, very much like you have on a show floor, um, exists in the virtual space as well. So I'm going to focus in this talk about how to experience that expo um, in the Rift specifically. Um, unfortunately, I tried using it in the Oculus Quest and, and that comms first expo space is just too big for the Quest. Um, it, it crashes out when you try and enter it through there. Now, I did successfully test it using a link cable. So I was using a, a gaming PC connected to my Quest headset, which normally you would use the Quest on its own. But when you get into higher intensity virtual reality worlds like this one, you can actually leverage a PC, connect it through a, a USB cable and work through it that way as well. So either if you've got a, an Oculus Rift or Rift S, the, the full PC connected headset or an Oculus Quest with a link cable connected up to it, you should be able to go through the same experience that we have here as well. Now that's not to say if you don't have these devices, you're not able to participate in the expo. You can certainly come in uh, through the, the PC or Mac application um, and, and experience it in 2D. It's not as immersive, but it actually still works quite well from that point of view. So I strongly encourage you, even if you don't have one of these VR devices, try it out on your PC, um, use the app from that point of view. Now, it took me actually quite a while to figure out the steps to follow to actually get all this working. You think this is ready for prime time. You know, there's, there's still a fairly high uh, barrier to entry in terms of just figuring out how to get it all work. And you actually need to use all three versions of the Alt Space app in order to successfully get into the Expo Hall in your Oculus. So you have to start out by signing up in the, the PC app first. You can't do that in the browser. I suppose you could do it in the Oculus. It's a little awkward using a virtual keyboard and such. I prefer to do it on a PC first. So I'm going to take you through that process of signing up in the app first. The next step is uh, the, the Commsverse Expo is not 
publicly available in Altspace. You need to know a, a private link for it. You can only use that in the browser. So you need to be able to, to fire up the browser with that link, be signed into Altspace, and then you can favorite it in the browser. And, and that's a key step uh, because the next thing is to actually experiencing that in the Oculus. You can't use that browser link. It doesn't work in the Oculus itself. But if you've favorited it on your PC and you're signed in in the Oculus with the same account, then you'll actually be able to retrieve it from your, your favorites in there and go right into the world from there. So those are the steps we're going to go through. We'll sign up first in the app, we'll favorite it in the, the browser on the PC, and then we'll go into the Oculus and actually experience it in the Rift. So let's start by installing Altspace VR as an app on our PC. So if you go to the, the Microsoft Store in Windows 10, search for Altspace VR, uh, you'll bring it up in here and go ahead and install it. I've already installed it on this PC, so this is what I see here. I'm ready to launch out the app, so let's go ahead and launch that. So what we're going to do is click the menu button in the center there, and then over on the right-hand side, click the sign-up button. And we're going to come over to the sign-up form. Basically fill in our display name, which is what other people see you as in Altspace VR, uh, because a username that's unique to you, an email that you use to log in, and a password. Normally I would say use a strong, long password, which I, I always do. It's always unique. I use a password manager for that. I discovered the hard way, though, that it's actually really difficult since one password is the manager I use is not available inside the Oculus. It's actually really hard to keep taking your, your headset on and off, on and off when you look at the next few characters of a long password. So this is one exception where maybe use words, use something a little more memorable. Still don't reuse the password, please. Keep it secure from that point of view. Um, pick your country, your birthday, and go ahead and hit create to create your account. So Altspace VR will then basically create your account and reconnect to the space signed in as that new user that you've just created. So I'll give it a sec to load up. Now we're back into our home and we start a tutorial. So let's go ahead and begin the tutorial. And the first step that we're going to do is go through customizing an avatar for ourselves. So you've got lots of different choices around avatar type, around body styles, gender, hair color, skin color. So go ahead and, and set one up that you feel is appropriate for you. Um, have some fun with it if you want. Doesn't necessarily have to be representative. I leave that up to you. When you're happy, go ahead and save that. And it will then take you to the next step, showing you a little bit on how to move around in the 2D space using your keyboard and your mouse. So let's go ahead and continue from there. And we're basically into our space. So what you need to do now is come back to the menu and go over to your settings. And the top option here, the early access program, this is the important one. You have to turn that on. That will allow you to access your worlds and your favorites. And this is the important piece that then allows you to get into the commerce world inside of the quest. So make sure you've done that. It's going to go through and reconnect you yet again because it's now got to turn on those new features and then we're going to go into the actual favoriting of that. So now we're, we're done in the Altspace app on the PC for the time being. Even if we're going to continue to explore in 2D on the PC, you have to close it down at this point because what you have to do is click this link here uh, in order to access Altspace VR in the browser. And, and get access to this private space. And basically when you do that, you can favorite it, and then you'll be able to access it either in the, the Altspace app on your PC or also in your Oculus um, in, the, in full VR from that point of view. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now I'm in the browser and you'll notice I've got a, a favorite button down on the bottom there. Don't press that just yet because we're not signed in. Go up to the login prompt up at the top right, click that. Enter your credentials. So I'm using my 1Password Manager. I'll use my save credentials from there. Let it log in. And now I can hit the favorite at the bottom. When I do that, that'll now be accessible either in the Quest or in the, the Windows Store app on my PC. So now at long last, we're actually ready to enter the Commsverse Expo Hall. I'm going to be wearing a Rift. I actually have my daughter, Kate, helping out. She's wearing the Quest connected to a, a gaming computer through the Oculus Link cable. And we're going to take a little tour around. Now, full disclosure, it's a little jerky. It's my first VR recording. So I'm actually using the uh, the Oculus Mirror Diagnostic software to, to mirror it to the PC and then Camtasia to record it. Um, so it does tend to jump around a little bit, but bear with us and come check it out. Okay. 
So here's our comms verse exhibit floor. It actually looks a lot like a, a real show floor. We've got booths, we've got vendors. It's pretty quiet. We're not actually open right now, but we're going to do a little advanced walk around. I've got Kate with me here. So Kate, uh, you know, just some general things for people to know. You know, I've got my Oculus Rift on. You're wearing a Quest. I've got my hands that show up as controllers here. I can use my right hand and scroll my view rather than turning my body. So I've got a little bit of control there. I can use my left hand, pull back to move away from you, push forward to move closer and left and right. Now, as we, we're close together right now, so if you talk to me, I hear you quite clearly. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you fairly well right now. Okay, so let me actually use the uh, A button on my right controller. I can press it down and I get a little transporter beam here. And when I let go, boom, that's the spot that I've gone to. And, and I don't know if you can hear me at all now because you're fairly far away. Can you wave at me? Hey, I see you up on the stage there. So why don't you come down? Let's head over to the Extranet User Manager booth. So I'm going to do a couple of transport jumps here and jump over to the booth here. We can see our booth, which is awesome. And here comes Kate. Oh, she just transported somewhere different. Or is she right beside me? There she is. Come on over this way here. I'll wave you in. So you can hear me now there we go. that you've come closer again, right? Yeah, now I can hear you again. Cool. I mean, it'll be interesting to see when, when the room is busy and we've actually got a crowd in here. I think we're going to hear sort of fainter background conversations going. And as you get towards a cluster of people, you can actually join in the conversation, much like you would randomly with people on a show floor. So that's sort of the idea here. Cool. Well, thanks for the, uh, the quick tour, Kate. And uh, hopefully we'll see good crowds in here come next week. Good crowds in here come next week. Bye. Thanks for having me. <laughs>